The information that Russia is hastily developing the S-550 anti-missile system made a lot of noise in Western paramilitary publications. And no wonder. The appearance of the RF Ministry of Defense of anti-satellite weapons, potentially capable of hitting targets in near space, could significantly reduce the effectiveness of the American missile defense system. So far, very little is known about the S-550. Own source TASS in the military-industrial complex commented on the capabilities of this system as follows, this is an absolutely new mobile strategic missile defense system that has no analogs. It is capable of shooting down spacecraft, ballistic missile warheads and hypersonic targets. With the warheads of ICBMs, everything is clear, under hypersonic targets, apparently, a certain analog of our vanguard, or something like that is supposed to be. Much more interesting is the information about the shooting down of spacecraft in near space. The Russian media hinted that the American unmanned spaceplane Boeing X-550 could become a priority target for the S-37. Each of these remotely controlled mini-shuttles can carry up to six nuclear bombs, and the Pentagon expects to keep up to eight such orbital bombers above our heads. Such weapons carry a very serious potential as a means of delivering a preventive disarming strike against elements of the Russian missile defense control system and other strategically important infrastructure of the RF Ministry of Defense. Against such a sort of damocles in orbit, either a shield or another sort is needed. But building your own spaceplanes is a very long and costly business, it turned out to be easier to modernize existing anti-missile systems. It is not yet known exactly what formed the basis of the S-550, the S-500 or neutral air defense systems, the main thing is that the complex turned out to be mobile, it can be quickly relocated and deployed. This may be extremely important in the future as a means of deterring American aggression. The United States has built a powerful national missile defense, NMD, system to defend its territory and that of its allies from a just nuclear retaliation strike. It consists of several elements, the most important of which is the satellite constellation, which provides early warning of the launch of ballistic missiles. SBIRS, space-based infrared system, operating in the infrared spectrum, is designed for early detection of the launch of enemy ICBMs, as well as for determining the trajectory of their flight and issuing target designation data to interceptor missiles. The most interesting thing is that this constellation is still not completed, only four satellites of the upper echelon in elliptical orbits, HEO, and four geostationary satellites, GEO, have been launched. Instead of completing SBIRS, the Pentagon decided to focus on the next-generation overhead persistent infrared satellite program. In low Earth orbits, a network of satellites operating in the infrared range should be deployed. At the first stage, OPER will consist of several large, expensive reconnaissance satellites in geostationary orbit, with improved tactical technical characteristics. The U.S. Air Force reportedly signed a $2.9 billion contract with Lockheed Martin to build three OPER geosynchronous satellites and a contract with Northrop Grumman to build two more satellites in the system, which will be in circumpolar orbits. A natural question arises, how much will the effectiveness of the American missile defense system decrease if the S-550 anti-satellite missiles can hit the SBIRS and OPER satellites in low Earth orbit? 
What if Russian mobile systems are deployed somewhere in Cuba or Nicaragua, as well as in our Arctic, where elements of the space-based early warning system for an ICBM launch are targeted? It will be even better if Russia manages to overwhelm this system and the ships and submarines of the Russian Navy receive anti-satellite missiles. The destruction of just a few satellites will significantly weaken the Pentagon's ability to track and intercept our nuclear missiles, which in itself is a critical psychological deterrent. So, the point here, most likely, is not only in the hunt for the American unmanned spaceplane's Boeing X-37. Some experts initially speculated that the S-550 was a shorter-range spin-off of the S-500, just as the S-350 was a medium-range missile complementing longer-range S-300 and S-400 systems. Russia's TASS state news agency also recalled an S-550 mobile short-range anti-ballistic missile ABM, system developed between 1981-1988, which never entered service. However, Sergei Kemizov subsequently told reporters at the Dubai Airshow the S-550 would be designed to detect and intercept ballistic missiles at a greater distance than the S-500 and that the physical components have already been created. Now the consensus is that S-550 would be a mobile system specialized in strategic defense, defending against intercontinental range ballistic missiles ICBMs, that arc high into space before raining nuclear destruction at up to 20 times the speed of sound. Russian sources also emphasize a space attacker space defense role which besides referring to kinetic anti-satellite missions might also include interception of spacecraft in low Earth orbit like the US military's X-37B unlike the S-500, there reportedly aren't plans for a naval variant. Curiously, the S-500 was already generally understood to offer significantly improved ballistic missile defense, Bermudian dollars, capability using its 77N6N series missile, estimated by US intelligence, to be effective against intermediate range missiles, and of partial effectiveness versus ICBMs. But when later interviewed by TASS, military expert Dmitry Litovkin said he presumed it would become an extra element of the Promedy system. It was earlier announced that this system would be able to shoot down both ballistic nuclear warheads and low-orbit satellites. Judging by everything, the military has made a decision to divide these functions between the two systems, the multitask option is not always good for a combat system. In a similar vein, an anonymous source told RIA Novosti the S-550 was version of the S-500 air defense system and will specialize in missile and space defense tasks. These statements, which are by no means definitive, could mean the S-550 is simply the S-500's missile defense capability spun off and perhaps improved to be more reliable against ICBMs.